While the White House proposes a major reorganization of the federal government that would move the supplemental nutrition program, among others, from the USDA to the Department of Health and Human Services, RFD-TV's Sarah Mogg brings us reactions from Capitol Hill. When it comes to regulating American food and agriculture, a lot of federal agencies are involved. Uh, take pizza, for example. If a company wishes to sell cheese pizza, it has to meet with the Food and Drug Administration uh, requirements. However, if they add pepperoni to that pizza, the company must now adhere to rules issued by the Food Safety Inspection Services of the Department of Agriculture. The Trump administration argues that by reducing this kind of regulatory overlap, they can save American businesses and taxpayers money, while at the same time increasing the benefits going to needy families through programs like SNAP. So conflicting and confusing eligibility requirements actually make it difficult for people who are in need of assistance to navigate what the requirements are. It make it also difficult for the states who are supporting that to help their um, constituents, their clients get the need-based um, need aid that they, they need. Having just passed a farm bill, lawmakers in the House are cautiously assessing a plan that would move the 80% of USDA's budget dedicated to nutrition assistance to the Department of Health and Human Services. Senate ag leaders have dismissed the idea, with Democratic lawmakers in particular raising concerns about the cost-benefit trade-off, which the White House says has not yet been considered. The administration says that this disruption would benefit the country but I think we uh, need to see more than empty promises. Given that any actions described in the White House's proposal, including radical changes to the U.S. Postal Service and to environmental regulations, would require congressional approval, it's unlikely this proposal will be acted on anytime soon. For RFD-TV, I'm Sarah Mock in Washington. Thank you, Sarah. Well, House Ag Committee Chairman Mike Conway says he would have an open mind while reviewing the White House proposal, but doubts adding nutrition assistance to the Department of Health and Human Services workload would be effective. Well, meteorologist Christina Lorenzo.